As the men leave the countryside in China for economically booming cities like Beijing, the women are left to tend the fields. Nearly 80% of labor-intensive farm work, once reserved for men, is now being done by women. More than 100 million floating migrant men have flocked to the capital to seek lucrative factory jobs, leaving a tremendous vacuum in the villages. This transformation to the gender makeup of the rural workforce has coincided with the increase of factories in the countryside. Small factories producing everything from toothbrushes to bricks have cropped up in villages throughout China. This has brought industrial wealth to many farming areas. Fuchin Plastics Factory, which produces rubber soles for sneakers, employs 30 people, 28 of whom are women. It's one of two factories in Fuming County, in Yunnan province, which offers an opportunity for its villagers to earn extra money. But due to the shortage of men, this has meant that it's the women who've stepped into the men's shoes to comprise the new rural industrial workforce. When I look for workers, it is mostly women who live life. Right. Men mostly won't the country, and earn much more money. Uh, women, it's more important for them to stay close to home. It makes the family feel more secure. The factory opened 12 years ago and runs 24 hours a day in shifts of 8 hours. During the harvest and planting seasons, workers leave to tend the fields. The work is considered light, certainly easier than farming, and the money is good compared to other work in the countryside. This married factory worker came here to earn some extra money, the equivalent of $64 a month. This supplements her work on the family farm and is flexible enough to enable her to care for her husband and baby. Opportunities for peasant women have been limited in the past. In poorer regions of China, where many families have two or more children, girls often stay home to work so their brothers can go to school. Earnings from factory work can offer rural mothers the chance of paying for their daughter's education too. now, the economic transformation in China has been concentrated mostly in the coastal cities, bypassing the rural countryside. The women have had to stay at home to take care of their children, their aging parents and the fields. Traditionally, their expectations have been low and their horizons limited. has changed the situation for women. Farming is no longer the backbone for all these peasant families. Factory work has given them a new financial independence and a newfound freedom. Nonetheless, the heavy use of female labor in rural factories and farms has created a gender-based peasant underclass with women as the biggest and cheapest labor pool. At this Fuldin carpet factory, Workers make the equivalent of only $43 a month. This factory was started by someone in our village. So I moved to the country. Our family has two acres of land, and I'm happy to support it. We have six people all together in my family. With the money I earn, we can bring our earnings up to several hundred dollars a year. Township enterprises like this are considered the most exploitative of China's industries. The machines used are mostly from the 1950s and earlier. The women work with hand crank looms amidst an abundance of dust and trimmings that float through the air. In 1993, less than 2% of all such factories offered the minimum protection afforded by the state-run labor union. Women usually have the most menial shop floor jobs. Prior to the recent fourth annual women's conference in Beijing, the Chinese authorities announced a five-year plan to boost women's economic and social status in the country. 
This included such goals as providing maternity care to seven out of eight rural women by the end of the century. However, the plan has been criticized already for being long on exhortations and short on specifics. The changing needs of China's rural women have yet to be met. Thank <laughs> you.